Hi, sometimes a color says more than a thousand words. So if you want to show something conditionally, this is how you can do it. Just follow this video. In this case, uh, what we have here is a table that I want to use and the table has three rows. Every row I gave a color uh, like so. I just said I want to go, I want to do the color red for this one. As you can see, you can just select a color and uh, I gave it a certain merge field. Also, I made sure that in this table there are no, um, sorry, there are no borders and no, uh, there are no borders. So I select none here. And of course, uh, I made sure that the table width is 100%. So it perfectly fits in the uh, section that we want to put it into. Okay, so that's the configuration of this table for the conditional uh, formats or for the conditional sections. And now I want to put it in this uh, cell here. So what I did for this cell to make sure it fits perfectly, I said to this cell, well, I actually want to have uh, no uh, padding here on none of the uh, uh, sides of this cell so that my, perfil, uh, my table can fit perfectly. Okay, so let's cut our table. Huh? I just do <clears throat> cut and I'll paste it in here. So now my table is 100% uh, of width and will fit my cell perfectly. So in this case, what I want to show is that depending on if there is an account site or not, I want to show a color. If there is an account type or not, I want to show a color. And I also want to do that in, um, yeah, in something that repeats. So in this case, we're going to repeat this row for every, um, for every product in our opportunity. And also there, I want to show some uh, quantity indicator that says, uh, yeah, shows just what it does. Okay, that's my, that's our document. So let me save this document. Okay, and now I can add it to my configuration. I already prepared some configuration so that we really can focus on the conditional part here. Uh, of course, I have two, um, two data sources, one for the opportunity and one for the opportunity products. And I also uh, already created a table row. So this table row, as you can see, just repeats the opportunity products that is linked to our opportunity. And that's where we start our journey, right here from the opportunity. So this is where we're gonna generate our documents. Okay, first step is let's add our documents. So I select our documents and I click open to edit. Now our document is already added and I'm gonna already save this one just to make sure I do not lose my work. So next up, I want to now conditionally format here the account site and the account type. So um, let's start with our first item here, the not OK, so for the account site. I'm going to add a config type, and the config type is of type table row, because I want to decide if I want to show a table, uh, the row or not show this row. The data source, it has to be a single data source, so make sure that it's a single one, that it's a, otherwise it will start uh, replicating the row for every record. So in this case, I'm going to choose my opportunity. The merge field is not OK one, of course, and I want to remove um, the merge fields when the uh, when it's uh, yeah when the decision has been made. So now I'm going to need to add a condition, and the condition will say, well, if um, the what was it? It was the account site. So my condition will say, well, if the account site is empty, then the red can stay. So if this condition is true, the account site is empty, then the not OK, the red will show. OK, and now all the rest is actually just more of the same. So what I'm going to do here for the maybe, it's uh, also a table row. It's linked to the opportunity, merge fields. I want to remove the merge fields yeah, um, here. And I'm going to add a condition saying that the account site uh, equals to and ah, so not applicable. So if they put in not applicable, I want to put it in orange. Okay, and now for the last one, okay, everything is fine. That means that um, I'm gonna say okay one table row uh, the data source opportunity 
merge field. Um, I want to remove the merge field because I don't need it anymore. And now I'm going to make a decision here on account site. Uh, so it's not empty and the account site is different than NA, not applicable. In that case, I want to show it green. Okay, perfect. So that's one done. Let's do the second one. Let's uh, do exactly the same for account type. Uh, so you can fast forward if you already understand. Um, not okay too. It's a table row. The data source is opportunity. Merge field is not okay too. Uh, I want to remove the merge field and I say that the account type uh, is empty. Then I want to show the not okay too. Same for the maybe too. Okay, table row, opportunity, merge field, and uh, merge field only. And again, uh, account site equals not applicable. Okay, and then for the okay, when is this okay? It's okay when the, um, the account site is not empty and it's uh, different from NA, uh, from not applicable. Okay. Merge field. So account type is not empty and the account site is different from not applicable. Okay, save. So this uh, part of the configuration is already done. Uh, let's uh, maybe already test it. <clears throat> so we can see it's actually working. In this case, I have my... Um, Let's take a look at the account because that's what's important here. And on the account, I have my account site equaling, equaling NA. So that should be uh, orange, the account site. And the account type, uh, it's a customer direct. So that should be green. Let's take a look. I generate my document. And I see indeed that the account site is orange and the account type is green. So conditionally, we have uh, matched this perfectly. Now let's uh, move on to the uh, uh, quantity. So how to do this inside a, a repeating loop. So that's not that difficult. We just have to make sure it's placed in the wrong, uh, in the correct place. So as a child of our uh, table row for the product name. So if I go to this uh, table row for the product name, what do I need to do? I have to do exactly the same thing but then as a child of the product name. So I'm gonna create here, uh, again, the table row. Um, in this case, it can be the parent data source because that will always, always represent one record uh, every time for every loop. The merge field is this one. Again, I don't want to use the merge field, so I'm just gonna remove it and I'm gonna add um, a condition. Let's add the conditions later on because I wanna discuss about those. Let's first add all of the uh, Okay, table row, merge fields and merge field only. Okay, and then we have the product. Okay, it's a table row and product, okay. So now there are uh, all three are is there. So let's say that for instance, it's not okay when it's uh, uh, equal to zero. It's uh, maybe when it's equal to one and it's okay when it's bigger than one. Let's do that for the uh, um, for the quantities to make the decision. So not okay. I said that I want it to be not okay when the, uh, uh, let's see, the quantity was equal to zero. Okay, um, I want it to be maybe when the quantity is equal than one. So um, the quantity equals one, okay. And I want it just to be green when the quantity is bigger than one. Okay, add, and then I can just say quantity is bigger, that's this one, is bigger than one, okay. Cool. Let's uh, save this. 
Okay, no errors, no warnings, everything is saved correctly. So now let's give it a test. You see that there is one uh, with one, so that would be uh, orange, and the other is 12, 12, so that would be uh, green. Okay, let's give it a test. And as you can see, uh, the one with quantity 12 is nicely green, and the one with quantity 1 is nicely orange. So this is conditional formatting, PDF better style. Thanks very much.